is certain. Gentlemen, the show is about to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. My name is Dobi Shinyemeren, a gifted kid from Iyala local government area in a school called Jiroyu Crystal College, opposite Abbott Boys Secondary School, Okoria. As a nation builder, I am here to present to you a hidden treasure titled Origin of Man. Origin of Man started 85 million years ago. According to Darwin's theory, it started from unicellular organism, which is organism with single cell to multicellular organism which is organism with more than with more than one cell from multicellular to vertebrates which is animals that has backbone from vertebrates to mammals which is animals that breastfeed their young ones from mammals to primates which is animals among the family of apes from under primates we have hominidae and pongidae Homini day which is human ape and pongi day which is super ape. Similarities between homini day and pongi day. They are both muscular. They both make use of their four hind legs for hopping. They are herbivorous. What I mean by herbivorous is animals that, that feed on plants. They are arboreal. What I mean by arboreal is, is animals that live on trees. The difference between homini day and pongi day. Homini day uh, have the features of man. Why pongi day has the features of it? Homini day has four hind legs and they are erect. Homini day has the features of man. Why pongi day has the features of it? Homini day's four hind legs are erect. Why that of the pongi day are bent? Homini day's head is smaller than that of the pongi day. Now, after homini day, we have homo habilis. They are also known as handyman. Why they are called handyman is because they are the first species of man to make tools to make tools with the use of new tools. They they are they speak they interact with their fellow man with the use of grunt. Grunt is also known as sound. They are carnivorous. What I mean by carnivorous is that animals that feed on flesh. We we'll move over to Homo erectus. Homo erectus are upright men. Why they are called upright men is because they are the first species of men to make fire by the striking of two flint stones together. They have long face. They are carnivorous. They, they are no longer tree dwellers. But now cave dwellers, they, their grunts became more clear than that of the Homo habilis. They started work with 8 million years ago. Now I will move over to Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens started work with 1 million years ago. But it is divided into Homo sapiens sapiens and Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. Homo sapiens sapiens means wise wise man. Why Homo sapiens neanderthalensis means wise muscular man? Under Homo sapiens sapiens, they they are they are cave dwellers. They were no more they were no more carnivorous, but now omnivorous, which is animals that feed on both plants and flesh. They they are, they no longer use make use of their hands and legs to walk, but only their legs, and their legs were more erect than that of Homo erectus and Homo habilis. They were able to make use of improved weapons to go in search of their food. They were able to hunt. They were able to interact with their fellow men. They were able to interact with their fellow men with a clear language. Thanks, I still remain Udobi Shinemeren and the nation builder of Jiroyo Crystal College. See you next time. Bye.